time for another Get Just with Merrick. I do this every single week. If you have not checked these out week after week, they're a really fun series that I do every week just with little outfit tips and style tips and showing you practical ways to make better use of your closet. Um, the Get Just with Merrick post always corresponds, or Get Just with Merrick videos here on Stories always correspond with the blog post of the day, so you can always swipe up um, or it's linked below and you can check out the blog post where it's all outlined and that might be easier for you to consume it in that way. And then also later in the week, we save them to Instagram TV. So all of them going back are saved to Instagram TV. So you can reference all of them there today because school is out for us. I don't know if it's out for you, but it is officially summer for us. And so today we are talking about summer basics on the blog today. These are essentials in your closet for summer that are just like those really versatile, really simple kinds of pieces. Last week on my blog, the entire week was dedicated to a better than basics week, which was so fun to share with you ways to take your outfits up a notch and turn them better than basic. But you cannot wear better than basic pieces without basic pieces too, right? If you have a really fun pair of pants, you pair it with a basic top. If you have a really fun top, you pair it with a basic pair of pants. So those basics are essential and we're gonna go through 10 of those. Again, they're all outlined on the blog. It's a very basic summer outfit. Um, if I was gonna make this better than basic, I'd probably add like a fun colored hat and some better than basic sandals, but it has three important pieces for a summer wardrobe. A basic tee, a neutral pair of shorts, and neutral sandals. The reason that a basic tee is so important and essential is because it goes with everything. It's a great neutral piece that you can dress up or dress down. I had it with shorts before. Actually, I have my shorts underneath this skirt. I was lazy and I just threw the skirt off over the top. But anyways, it, it's easy to wear with neutral pieces and it's easy to wear with m more fun statement pieces because just neutral, easy to wear, easy to dress up, dress down, lots of different ways, super versatile. Look at this. I threw on some neutral sandals for summer and instantly this is dressed up even though I have a basic white tee. So you can put on your neutral flat sandals with your basic white tee and your jean shorts and have it be super basic and super casual or throw on a skirt and some higher sandals and you have a more dressy um, outfit. So super versatile, super essential. Another essential shoe for the summer for me is a low cut white sneaker like this that you can wear with skirts, you can wear with dresses, you can wear with shorts, um, so versatile. So these are my most versatile and most recommended three shoes for summer. A neutral pair of flat sandals, a neutral pair of heeled sandals, and then a low cut pair of sneakers. And I've got really good options linked in today's blog post. Denim shorts are a great neutral short option. If you don't love denim shorts, you can do something else. I linked a couple of options in today's blog post as well, um, but they're great to pair with better than basic tops and also with sneakers or with your flat sandals. A good summer dress is an absolute essential in my closet. I like to have several. I like to have like a flowy, more dressy one. I like to have more casual ones like this, ones that you can wear with sneakers and flat sandals, um, ones that you can dress up and dress down. It's just a good closet staple when you don't feel like wearing pants, it's too hot to wear anything else, um, or you need to get dressed up a little bit. So I've linked some good ones, all different styles, more like t-shirt, or flowy or uh, fit and flare or shirt dress. There's tons of different options, uh, but you should have a couple of those in your closet for summer because they are a closet staple. I own a lot of summer dresses. I love dresses in the summer, but I just wanted to show you a couple different other styles. This is a just a straight down t-shirt dress, whereas this one is fitted or um, has a belt here, so it has a fitted waist. But a straight down t-shirt style is good if that's more your style. Um, a shirt dress is a great one for dressing up or dressing down or something more flowy like this. So you decide what's right for your closet, for your style, um, but just choose something that is versatile. It can be wear, worn a lot of different ways. Here's another all basic outfit. A pair of white pants or white jeans is definitely a summer essential. I know some of you guys are scared to wear white. Um, don't be scared. Try it. It's easier than you think and just, you know, you have to be a little bit more careful, but that's okay. Um, I love a skinny pair of white jeans. I also love this wide pair. I have linked so several of my favorites in today's blog post. This is another uh, basic tee, obviously in a stripe print instead of a solid print, definitely an essential. And then the neutral sandals again. Um, 
It's fun because with basics, like all of these, you can pair them together to make a whole outfit and then just add a few accessories to make them better than basic. But also basics are great for being the neutral piece when you're wearing something that's better than basic. Does that make sense? So 10 basics in today, summer basics in today's blog post. Check them all out in the blog post. I have shopping options for each of the 10 categories. Uh, if you see that you have a gap in your closet, you're missing one of these 10 closet staples and you want to fill it.